We're with uh, Michael Will of uh, DocGenix, the founder and CTO of this software startup in Manhattan. Thanks for joining us, Michael. It's a pleasure to be here. Welcome to DocGenix. How long has DocGenix been in existence? Um, we were formed in April 2008. And you have a product called Synopsis, which is a kind of a database. Uh, how long has that been in the market? Um, well, Synopsis is actually part of a wider service called Insight, mm -hmm. and uh, the Insight service has been available. Uh, we went live with our first clients at the beginning of the year. Now, as I understand it, a, a company uh, such as a broker-dealer who has a large number of derivatives contracts uh, often needs to search those contracts uh, to see if particular events have happened, such as if, for instance, uh, the company is downgraded, say, by a ratings agency, mm -hmm. uh, as not a few have, have been recently. Um, sort of walk me through an example of how that would work with DocGenix. Why couldn't I just use a, a standard search engine of the sort that are used in Google or Westlaw or Lexis, the search engines lawyers are familiar with, to do that kind of a job? Well, those are text-based search engines. Uh -huh. And um, you can imagine that if you were to search uh, for triple B plus, for example, which is a Standard & Poor's rating, um, you would find the letters triple B plus. Unfortunately, the subtleties of and the ways in which people can actually draft mean that the letters triple B plus may not actually appear in the language. Mm -hmm. I've frequently seen language where the ratings trigger would be, um, for example, if a party is downgraded to below A minus, ah. and the rating below A minus is actually triple B plus. So the regular search engine technology would not pick that up. Because there are many ways you could express the same concept. What we do exactly is uh, we express the multiple ways of expressing that lawyers use to express a particular concept to a single data value of triple B plus. Mm -hmm. If someone enters triple B plus into our system, they will find triple B plus, regardless of how it's expressed. Okay. So what you do is I give you my documents and then you analyze them looking for all of these various value points. This ratings is only one example, right? Yes. How many different uh, values might you you encompass in, in your analysis of the documents? Well, per agreement on average, uh, the range is between 1,500 data points per agreement to 8,500. So as many as 8,000 data points per document. Um, now, I presume that companies are currently doing something to try and encompass this, but they're probably not focused on 8,000 points per document, right? Our process is software driven. Uh -huh. I always say that the strongest member of our team is in fact the machine. Um, most institutions now are, are using, I'm afraid, a manual um, approach to doing that, and they're capturing in the region of uh, you know between 40 to 100 data points per agreement. So they actually have someone read through every derivatives contract and look for 40 to 50 of these data points and put them on a spreadsheet of some sort? Indeed. Whereas what you're doing is putting them into a database and having much of that analysis, at least in the initial stage, done by a machine rather than by a human. That is correct. Okay, so then what I can do with your system that I can't do with an existing spreadsheet system is I can search for that data point of triple B plus expressed in any manner of ways. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. And you can do portfolio queries in a matter of seconds. Mm -hmm. Now are most of your clients law firms or are most of your clients the, the investment banks and, and the sort of client side of the business? Um, both. Uh, we have done jobs for uh, law firms and we've also done a job uh, jobs for um, both banks and also for um, hedge funds as well. How many clients does the firm have now? We have a handful of clients uh, currently okay. and we have in active pilots um, in excess of 10. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you, Michael, for taking some time to speak with us today. It's a real pleasure. Thank you.